my mud, and this is my cheat sheet for Monday, November 14th. Ridiculous! We're only 10 days away from Thanksgiving. By the way, since we're getting into that holiday shopping season mode, this might be the last holiday shopping season we shop online tax-free. Amazon.com had been one of the biggest resistors of any type of sales tax that had been implemented by some of the states, and certainly opposed to a federal income tax. Who knows exactly what the reason is? But Amazon has reverse course, and Amazon.com, the largest retailer online in the world, not just the U.S., is now supporting a federal sales tax. Now you're going, federal sales tax? Hold on, I didn't think Herman Cain was president yet. No, he's not. Uh, here's what would happen online. If states have their own imposed sales tax, then that would be the rule of the land, and that much sales tax would be collected when purchases are made inside that state. In the event that no state income tax for online purchases has been put in place, there would be a federal standard, a minimum tax collection at the federal level, that would then be distributed to the states that would not have a law in place. Does it make sense? And boy, doesn't that seem like an opportunity for the feds to shift a little off the top. Could be a, a big deal coming in the next couple of months. And uh, anyway, just, just know that those days of an online sales tax, tax appear numbered. Um, companies reinvesting in themselves is at a four-year high. This is significant for a couple of reasons. If we turn back the clock, one, two, three, four, we are, that was 2007. And if you remember, we hit an all-time high in the stock market in October of 2007. So that companies are now reinvesting as much money as they had. In, that predates the recession. The recession began in December, uh, late November, December of 2007. So we're now back at pre-recession, pre-economic collapse levels of investment by companies buying back their own stock. That's a very strong sign for the underlying fundamentals of the stock market at large, overall corporate America, and should make you feel a little bit more comfortable uh, about any investments you have in the stock market. What it also tells you is that a lot of companies are not taking a bunch of additional risk right now. In happier times, companies might be using some of that money for acquisitions they think could be accretive to the overall business in future years. Obviously, companies feel far more comfortable putting money back into their own company, what they know and understand, than they necessarily do going out and buying others. Anyway you slice it, though, it's definitely a positive sign for the stock market and for corporate America. Um, boy, the iOS 5, that update that came out last week, might not be the panacea after all. Uh, many people are complaining that the battery life issue wasn't fixed for the iPhone 4S, and Apple confirmed it over the weekend that the battery fix is not taken care of with the update to iOS 5. So it's back to the drawing board, and they're looking back into it. We'll obviously keep you posted. So cheat sheet for today, the entire cheat sheet, you'll find on my page at WJNO.com. We'll see you tomorrow. <coughs>